Hey, uh, my name is Darren Pope. I'm here with uh, Miguel McGross. We are both a part of our accounts team at TransFX. Um, today, we're going to do a super quick, high level uh, overview of our TransFX file approach. I'll go ahead and let uh, Miguel take over from here. Um, he'll share his screen and uh, walk you through it. Thank you, Darren. So, to me, a quick one, y'all. Uh, just trying to give you the gist of the workflow of TransFX Live. If you have any questions to things that you wanted to see um, or features or, or functionality that we're curious, you're curious to whether or not we have, let us know. Uh, it's going to be a quick one. All right. So to start with TransFX Live, the workflow, you're going to enter in a URL. Um, to uh, You're going to add it as a resource. And I've already typed in transfx.com here because we have an example we use for our own website which we will then be able to translate on top of through TransFX Live. So let me select our site. I'll select the language. Let's do French. Click Live. And let's get it going. So as it loads up, you're going to see that we have now been directed to the URL we entered, transfx.com. And we will now select the language that we want to translate into, again, French. We can see highlighted in green on the page the strings that are available to translate. And as a translation manager, um, I'll be able to manage my strings to deploy the, the strings that are needed for translation from my team of translators and also from my team of reviewers that will review after the translation process is done. So. Um, all right, I've detected 15 strings on the URL. I will select all these because, yes, I agree. I want my translators to translate these. I approve. And now we see that we have um, 99 approved strings on this URL. Uh, some were had already existed and, and been worked on before in this test, so that's why we see more than 15. And I will then um, deploy the, the work that's needed to be done to my, my translation team, and they will be able to come in and work directly on our, on our UI to complete the translation. So um, let's work on this string now. I'll click directly on it, and I'll enter in a translation to infinity and beyond. I recently watched Toy, Toy Story, y'all. So we can save that. And we will now see it appear directly on the UI. So that's how it works. Uh, again, very simply translating uh, with um, immediate uh, visual feedback, visual context to your translation. Um, also, uh, any repeated string on the URL is only uh, it only needs to be translated once, um, which um, is a nice facet of this workflow. Um, once you've translated all of your strings, um, you're then able to publish those strings. So um, sure, we can select all languages or individual languages. Um, once, again, those translations um, have been saved and then also reviewed, then they'll be able to be published. Um, there's also a staging environment that some of our clients leverage. Uh, to kind of double check their work before publishing. But that's basically it. This is going to be a short and sweet one, y'all. So uh, once that is published, when a user um, comes to your site, they'll be able to select uh, a language selector um, dropdown. And uh, there are other methods as well, which one of our sales engineers can communicate with you uh, more in depth um, about loading languages per their um, their browser settings and things of that nature. So some different options. But um, that is what I wanted to go through today. Again, really simple. Back to you, Darren. Thanks, Miguel. So again, here at TransFX, we have two different approaches, um, one being TransFX file. Um, this one was the live version. If you uh, have any questions or if you want to see how the uh, file-based approach works, um, we do have some content on that as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Miguel or myself. Uh, Miguel's email is simply uh, miguel at transeffects.com. 
And uh, mine is Darren P at transeffects.com and Darren is spelled D-A-R-E-N. Uh, but thanks and uh, let us know if you have any questions.